Lombard MMA Fit is a unique fitness program that uses strength conditioning exercises in combination with real kickboxing and self-defense techniques. There are four levels in this fitness program. Beginners Level 1, The Comeback. Beginners Level 2, Breakthrough. Intermediate Level 3, Relentless. And Advanced Level 4, Invincible. For best results, visit LombardMMA.com, the Members section, to view instructional videos on martial arts techniques and fitness exercises incorporated in this program. Remember to train hard, train safe, have fun. Welcome to Lombard MMA Fit. We're starting our warm up with a double bounce step. The double bounce step, you can go forward, back, or side to side. Your left foot could be forward, your feet can be squared up, or your right foot could be forward. Light on your feet, highs the balls of your feet. We're just trying to get a nice sweat on, getting the legs warmed up. Hands are up, elbows are in. Okay, this is your double bounce back step. A jab, cross, punch out. Good for getting your shoulders warmed up. Turn your hips. Just loosen up your core. Here's a hook punch out. Rotate on the balls of your feet. Keep your elbows tight, your hands up. And the uppercut punch out. All these punching motions are at about 50% of your natural speed or your 100% speed. Again, the idea of this warm up is just to get a nice sweat on, warm up your body, get your shoulders loose, your hips loose, your knees loose, your ankles loose. This is a one, two, three foot work. It's like you're jumping rope. You can go one each side, you can go two each side, or you can go three each side. Keeping your hands up. Get a full work similar to like your jumping rope. Here we go back to punch outs. You can put your left foot forward or right foot forward. A lot depends on if you're left or right handed. Here's your hook punch out. Again, keeping about 50%. As you get through the warm up, you might be able to accelerate that a little bit to about 75%. And here's your uppercut punch out. Keep those elbows tight, the hands tight, turning the hips. Here's a knee bounce drill. Good for stretching those hips. This is starting to accelerate your heart rate a little bit. It's a little bit tougher of a exercise or work. Get your knees high, bouncing out the balls of your feet. You're going threes to a side, twos to a side, or one to the side. Right here, we're doing threes to a side. Back to our punch outs. This is your jab cross punch out to a hook punch out. Turning those hips, rotating on the balls of the feet. Uppercut punch out, keeping everything really tight and compact. Breathing within, you're breathing like you're just out for a jog. And to lunges, alternating sides, right foot extension to left foot extension. Bring your knee down as far as you can. You can start out bringing it about six inches to 10 inches off the ground to where if you can go almost to the touch in the ground as you get further warmed up. And now we're working hot coals. Hot coals, your feet are chopping a little bit while extending your jab cross motion. Again, another great warm up, getting your body warm, getting a sweat on. 
And now we're at the completion of the warm-up. It's about a four-minute warm-up. And as you finish here, now we can get ready to start the particular workout. This is the comeback workout number six. In this workout will focus just on boxing. Uh, focus a lot on your technique while you're gaining the fitness levels. And here we go. First combination is cross so cross. Remember to exhale on each strike and rotate on your punches. Elbows tight, chin tucked. In between each combination, you might be able to give a little bit of a bounce in between to break up the rhythm. If you're at a beginning level, you just might want to stay static. Again, elbows tight, full extension, rotate on each punch. Cross, hook, cross. Okay, getting that full rotation. And exhaling. Hard exhale through your teeth. Last one. Second combination, hook cross hook. So it's a lead high hook, rear hand cross, lead high hook. Exhaling on each. Get that good full rotation. That's what develops your power. Exhale on each straight. From the side, hook, cross, hook. Hook, cross, hook. Each combination or exercise, we're putting it into a minute sequence. So you can wrap that out and get the consistency. Developing your hook, cross, and hook. Okay, next combination or next technique, we're doing four work. Four count, step and slide. Advance, retreat, to your left, to your right. Advance, retreat, left, right. Stay light on your feet. Be on the balls of your feet. Forward, back, left, right. Keeping your elbows tight, hands are up. Again, four counts, step and slide. Working that eye-foot coordination. <clears throat> you need that for boxing. Knees are slightly bent, stay on the balls of your feet. Four back, left and right. Four back, left and right. 10 seconds. Four back, left and right. Working that forward. Okay, combination, lead head shield, rear uppercut, hook, cross. Lead head shield, rear uppercut, hook, cross. Keep that head shield tight. Exhale on your strikes, not on the head defense. Again, exhaling is for stamina and for your power. Elbows tight. Again, this lead head shield defends a hook or an overhand. An outside punch. 20 seconds. Last one. Now let's go to the other side. Rear head shield, lead uppercut, cross hook. Again, rear head shield, lead uppercut, cross hook. Working that defense followed by an uppercut. Head shield, uppercut, cross hook. Exhale, make strike. Get that rotation on each punch. These are all power punches. The 
This is referred to as a counter-strike combination, meaning you're defending and then counter-striking back. Defend, strike back. 15 seconds. Make sure you're exhaling on your techniques on those punches. Don't exhale on head defense. Five seconds. Last one. Hey, bounce it out. Now we're gonna work our circle step. Circle and left, circle and right, trying to find an angle. Circle to your left and back. Circle to your right and back. Just going left and right. Short choppy steps, keeping your feet staggered. Avoid crossing your feet or bring your feet together. Yeah, circle step. Viable for offense and defense. Developing angles on offense and being a moving target on defense. Stand a light on the balls of your feet. Always stay in light. Hand foot coordination. 10 seconds. Elbows tight, hands up, chin tucked. To the right one more time. And then back. Shake it out. Here we go. Next minute, jab, cross, hook combination. Remember to exhale. Keep those elbows tight, full extension on your jab and cross. Turn that hook over. <coughs> Rotation on the cross and the hook. Jab, cross, hook. Rotate, cross, and hook. Exhale. Concentrate on that technique. Level one is about developing technique and getting that basic level of fitness. Last combination. Next combination, jab, rear uppercut, hook. Jab, rear uppercut, hook. Jab, rear uppercut, hook. One, two, three. Okay, we're keeping these combinations in three count. Three punch combinations. Jab, rear uppercut, hook. Exhales. Keep those hands up. One hand punching, one hand on your temple or ear. Again, working at your own pace. Develop this technique. Develop these skills. If you have experience in kickboxing, you can accelerate the speed and the reps. If you're beginning level, Take it slow, 50% speed, and develop these techniques so the next three levels will come a little easier. Last combination. Next combination, counter striking. Lead hand parry, rear uppercut, hook, cross. Lead hand parry, rear uppercut, hook, cross. Again, this parry is defending a straight punch. Lead hand parry, rear uppercut, hook, cross. Keep those hands up. Exhale. Twenty five seconds. Rotation. Exhale on the strikes. Again, don't do, exhale on the defense to the head. So no exhale on the parry. 10 seconds. Last combination. Bounce it out, shake it out if you need. Next combination. Rear parry, lead uppercut, cross hook. Rear hand parry, lead uppercut, cross hook. And rotating on those punches. Again, yeah, work at your pace. Develop this technique. Yeah, I'm just here to kind of modify. You work at the pace and the level that you're at.
Rear uppercut, or rear pan parry, lead uppercut, cross hook. Rear hand parry, lead uppercut, cross hook. Keep those hands up. If your shoulders ever get a little fatigued, just shake them out, bounce it out, but you keep moving. Last combination of the minute. Okay, head movement. Six cow head movement. We have a duck, pull back, slip, slip, slip and weave and then weave back. It's called double weave. Here we go, duck one, pull back two, slip three, slip four, slip and weave five, weave back to six. Again, watch your video so you know these techniques. Duck, pull back, slip, 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 weave and weave back. Here we go, 30 seconds. Work that head movement drill. Get used to moving the head. Again, a moving target, harder to hit. A duck, pull back, slip, slip, weave, weave. Good, last one. Good, shake it up. Here we go, next sequence. Next minute, jab, cross, slip, slip. One, two, slip, slip. One, two, slip, slip. Your first slip will be to your cross hand side. So if your left foot forward, slip to the right, slip to the left. If you're training your left hand, your right foot forward, jab, cross, slip, slip. So the first slip is to the rear hand side. Here we go. One, two, slip, slip. Again, two quick punches, move that head. One, two, slip, slip. Here we go. One, two, slip, slip. Moving that head. One, two, get an off center line. One, two, slip, slip. The jab is referred to as a one across the two. One, two, slip, slip. Good, shake it out. Next combination, jab, cross, hook. And a double weave. Jab, cross, hook, weave, and weave back. One, two, three, weave to the left, weave to the right. One, two, three, weave and weave. Jab, cross, hook, double weave. Good. Exhale on the strikes, no exhale on the head movement. Elbows tight, hands up. Rotate on those punches. The jab you don't rotate, the cross and the hook you do rotate. Power punches. One, two, three, weave, weave. Ten seconds. One, two, three, weave, weave. One, two, three, weave, weave. Let's get one more. Here we go. One, two, three, weave, weave. Shake it out. Footwork, eye foot coordination. Bounce it. Shake it out. Figure eight footwork. Figure eight footwork. Here we go. Move those feet. Quick feet. It's important in boxing. Any combat sport. Eye foot coordination. So boxing is just not about your hands. It's not the body. It's about your footwork. Okay, here we go. Figure eight. Hands stay up. Or if you're a little bit more of an advanced level, you've seen before, you do windshield wiper. You want to arm protect the body, you want to protect the head. One arm protects the bottom rib, liver, spleen, kidney. Other hand protects the head. It's called a high lower windshield wiper position. Or you just keep your hands up. Move those feet, light on your feet. Two, one, bounce it out, shake it out. Next combination, it's a long combination. Maybe a little more challenging. Here we go. Jab, cross, hook, weave, hook, cross, hook. Three punches, head movement, three punches. One, two, three, weave. One, two, three. Here we go. Jab, cross, hook, weave, hook, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook, weave, hook, cross, hook. That's it. 30 seconds. 
Get that rotation on those punches. Good. Hands up. One hand punching, one hand back and arms to time. Here we go. Last time each. One, two, three. One, two, three. Shake it out. Bounce it out. Keep moving. Keep that heart rate going. Next combination, another long one. Cross, hook, cross, weave. Cross, hook, cross. Remember on those weaves, it's all from the hips. Unless you have a bad back, bend your knees a little bit. If not, it's from the hip. Two, three, weave. One, two, three. Get everything tight. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here we go. 30 seconds. Again, cross, hook, cross, weave. Cross, hook, cross. Exhale on the punches, not on the movement, head movement. Good. Here we go. Elbows tight. Hands up. One more. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bounce it out. Shake it out. Down to our last three minutes. We're working power hooks. Power hooks. 30 seconds one side, 30 the other. Reload. Really get used to turning over and developing that power. So I'll lead our power hooks. Turn that over. A lot of rotation. Look at this rotation. Working that core, developing power. Here we go, other side. Rear high hook. Rotate. Turn that over. Throw a little bit harder. Get used to that rotation. It's a body punch. Using your legs and your upper body. 10 seconds. Twisting those hips, working that core. Here we go, shake it out. Jab, cross, punch, outer blitz. Straight punches. Again, turn those hips. Extend those arms. Hands back to your ears. Breathe within. So you're not breathing on each punch, you're kind of breathing within, like you're out for a jog. Here we go, five seconds. Turn those hips. And uppercuts. Turn in the uppercuts. Lead uppercut to rear uppercut. 30 seconds. Breathe within, keep it tight. Short range of motion. Don't drop those hands lower than your chest and no higher than your forehead. You go 10 seconds. Turn those hips. Slight rotation. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Here we go. Last combination of the workout. Round minute number 19 to 20. You're going lead body hook, lead high hook, rear body hook, rear high hook. Bounce it up. One, two, three, four. Bounce it up. One, two, three, four. You're going to turn that hip. Rotate. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, work at that pace with me if you want. Or if you can go a little faster, go ahead. Just work that technique and finish the workout strong. Here we go, 20 seconds. Good technique. Again, body hook, body hook, high hook, body hook, head hook or high hook. Here we go, low, high, low, high. Here we go, last 10 seconds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here we go, last set. One, two, three, four. And time. Shake it out, shake those shoulders out. 
Walk it off. Check that heart rate. Have two hands above your head. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Once you cool down a little bit, get your abdominal routine in, your two to three minutes of push-ups, and a good stretch, and you're ready for the next workout at one of the levels.